I'm going to show you my public land deer hunting setup. This is for run and gun mobile deer hunters that primarily hunt pressured public land. Now I'm using a hang on stand and that's the key here. Any hang on stand is going to work. It is not about the brand. There are five features we're going to talk about in this video. Feature number one are these stick talons right here. These stick talons hold the sticks onto the stand. There are two sticks on this side attached to these stick talons with bungee straps keeping this top stick attached to the bottom stick like that. Stick talons are great for two reasons. Reason number one is because it keeps the sticks attached to your stand safely and securely. You don't have to worry about the sticks falling off your stand or making noise on your stand rattling around as you're walking into the woods. If you want to go up a tree, you literally only have to go up the tree one time. You're going to carry the stand on your back going up the tree, taking off one stick at a time as you ascend up the tree. Going up and down is going to create more noise and it's going to take a lot more time. The second feature I'd like to talk to you about are these backpack straps. These backpack straps are made by Lone Wolf Custom Gear. You can get any backpack straps that you're comfortable with. The key here is this thing down here, this waist support system. So I've gone backpacking a couple times and I've carried an immense amount of weight on my shoulders and on my waist. And one of the reasons why I could go so far, so long with all of that weight backpacking is because of the waist support system. The idea here is to keep the majority of the weight on your waist down here. That way you can carry a lot more and you don't have so much pain up here on your shoulders. I keep my straps pretty loose up here because most of the weight is supported by my waist down here. The waist support system was a game changer for me because now I can go farther and I can be more comfortable and I don't have a lot of pain in my back or my upper neck by the time I get to my deer hunting location. Once I get to the tree I'm going to climb, I simply put my stand down. I usually lean it against the tree. Since these stick talons have these sticks attached with this bungee strap, all I have to do is unbungee it right here, comes off right away, and this stick comes out. Same thing down here on the bottom where this bungee strap is. I take the first stick off and now I'm set. That brings me to feature number three. So feature number three are these daisy chains right here. Each stick has its own daisy chain and the stand has one as well. So for four sticks plus the stand, you need five daisy chains. These are 3 16 inch in diameter and they're super strong, they're super light, and they're a lot nicer in my opinion than using straps with metal buckles. So the straps with the metal buckles look like this. They're fine, but they do weigh more, they take up more space, you risk being a lot noisier because of these metal buckles. If you look at the daisy chains, they're really small in diameter. I've got this wrapped around each individual stick. All I do is I take it off this Versa button right here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I unwind it, comes around, I unwrap it, and what I'm left with is this really tiny, thin daisy chain. It's almost impossible to make noise. I mean, you can hit things with this. It hardly makes any noise at all. If you look at one daisy chain in size compared to a strap with a buckle in size, there's a big difference. I wound up both the daisy chain and the strap. So the strap takes up a lot more space. It's obviously heavier and it's gonna make more noise. All right, so if you look here, it's got a thinner profile, this daisy chain right here, the excess part of the daisy chain. All I do is I simply come back around the Versa button here. It goes down. And if I've got a lot of extra, I wrap it around the bottom of the stick and out through here so it's not blowing around in the wind and creating excess movement. Basically, as I'm climbing the tree, all I do is I pop these sticks out of the stick talons and then I'm ready to hang the stick on the tree as I'm going up the tree. So now I've got my tree stand set up with the daisy chain just like I did with the stick. It goes around the Versa button, wraps around the tree, comes in over here and I go around the Versa button again. Any excess part of the daisy chain. Sometimes you have a lot, depends on the width of the tree, but this is the excess. I go around this Versa button down here. Remember, you only need to attach your strap or your daisy chain to the top button at the top there. And then I just twist it around just enough to keep it out of the wind. Maybe put it around here or something, and that way I leave it there for the duration of the hunt. Moving on to the next feature are the stealth strips. Stealth strips are tape, they kind of feel like felt, but they not only silence your gear, but it also makes it blend in a little bit more because it camouflages it. There, I've got stealth strips on the stick right here, as you can tell. Now this is good also because if it's cold and you're touching this, it's a lot nicer than touching aluminum or metal on your hands during those cold times. I've got stealth strips right here on this main post. 
on the cables coming down and along the edge right here. This is important because when you're going through brush, a lot of times brush is going to hit on the stand as you're walking with it and you don't want that brush hitting on the cast aluminum because it's going to make a, like a ringing noise and it's going to alert deer off in the distance. So this last feature is often overlooked when people are setting up their stand for mobile public land pressured hunting. And that's how the bow goes on your stand. So for the Lone Wolf Assault 2, it does have a bow holder right here that your bow goes into. As you can see there, there's space here for the bow. And because this stand has stealth strips on the front of this cast aluminum on the frame there, it actually makes it really quiet. If you don't have this, the limb is gonna rest on there and it's gonna be noisy. And this part is rubberized where the cam goes around. So to put this on there, knowing that there's cell strip there, I place the limb on top of the stand like that. I move it back and tuck it into that little hook there and then it sits in one spot. That might not seem like a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to me where my bow goes while I'm hunting. So now I'm in the stand as you can see and my bow is right here. I want that bow really close to me. A lot of times when I'm hunting, I've got my bow hand right here, which is my right hand. And all I have to do is reach up and grab the bow right here in front of me because it's so close to my body. And I would argue that the gear you use is less important than your woodsmanship. In order to be really successful on public land, first you need to find deer. Check out this video right here. It's going to put you on deer right away. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.